For those of you who don't want to watch my long one hour live video about Tesla and answering lots of questions from the audience, here is my quick five minute summary of Tesla's earnings call and what is going on. Why is Tesla stock up by 5% even though their numbers were actually pretty bad? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Let's have a quick look at these numbers. For those of you who are time poor, like myself, okay, Tesla's total revenue fell from $21.3 billion to $19.3 billion in the most recent quarter. Total income collapsed from $1.4 billion to $409 million in Q1. So they made basically profit of $409 million. However, that was all carbon credit sales or regulatory credit sales. Affordable new models will use parts from Tesla's existing and next generation platforms. So there's going to be affordable new electric cars coming from Tesla. After a, well, I guess some might say disappointing first quarter where Tesla's global sales took a nosedive, the EV brand has reported its earnings for the same period. Now, I shouldn't say EV brand because Tesla, Tesla are actually saying their energy division will be way bigger, at least five times bigger than their EV sales division. That's one of the things that was quite interesting. Unsurprisingly, the results were, well, well short of where analysts expected them to be, not just because of sluggish sales, but also because of uncertainty across industries and challenges in supply chains, and of course, a decline in sales numbers versus previous quarters. However, not everything was doom and gloom. There is some good news, and that's probably why the stock price went up by more than 5%. Let's look at the figures. In Q1, Tesla's total revenue fell to 19 billion, 19.3 billion, a 9.4% decline from 21.3 billion in Q1 of 2024. When compared to Q2, Q3, and Q4 of last year, the drop is actually much larger. With revenue sitting at 25.5 billion in Q2, 25.1 billion in Q3, and 25.7 billion in Q4. Tesla's automotive revenue dropped from 17.3 billion in Q1 to 13.9 billion this quarter, a 20% decline, and peaked at 20 billion in the third quarter of last year. That means Tesla's automotive re revenue has fallen from fallen around 31% from its previous high, which was in the third quarter of last year. Now, of course, there's various things affecting this. It's not just Tesla sales going down as a result of uh, Elon Musk and his politics and you know that stuff, the controversies around that. I think it's probably more so from the Tesla Model Y not being available, the new version not being available until the, the towards the middle of the quarter. Declining revenue, though, isn't the only thing that could concern shareholders. Uh, total income plummeted by 71%, dropping to $409 million, down from $1.39 billion in the first quarter of last year, and $2.1 billion in Q4. So basically, the, the closest quarter, Q4 of last year, Tesla, uh, their revenue profits were 2.1 billion and this quarter it was 409 million big difference right and the other concern is of course that regulatory credits made up the majority of their profit in fact all of it because regulatory credits were more than 500 million and tesla only made 400 million dollars now regulatory credits are not going to stop if you're reading anything from the media saying they're going to stop therefore tesla is in trouble this is the media has been saying this for five years and they've been consistently wrong that won't happen this year Tesla has blamed its decline in revenue on the obvious drop-off in deliveries during the first quarter. As I reported recently, Tesla delivered 336,681 vehicles, which was down 13% from the first quarter of last year. It says its deliveries fell in part because it was updating its four factories to start building the new Model Y. And it also admits that deliveries fell in part because of a changing political environment. That's what Tesla said. They say average vehicle selling prices dropped in the first quarter this year. So prices of Tesla cars have never been lower, which is great for consumers. Not so great for Tesla. Uncertainty in the automotive and energy markets continues to increase as rapidly evolving trade policy adversely impacts the global supply chain and cost structure of Tesla and our peers, said Tesla. This dynamic, along with changing political sentiment, could have a meaningful impact on demand for our products in the near term. 
We remain committed to expanding our business model to include delivering autonomous robots across multiple form factors. Of course, they're referring to robots and cars and use cases powered by our real world AI expertise to our customers and for use in our factories as we navigate these headwinds. So Tesla is clearly planning on making cars in the future, as is everyone, primarily with robots. The sooner you can do that, the sooner Tesla can make cars at lower prices and make more money, etc., and avoid all the legal cases they've faced over the last 10 years. Falling revenue and deliveries, they sound bad, but Tesla does have some interesting things coming. New production vehicles, including more affordable electric cars, more affordable version of the Model Y, more affordable version of the Model 3, a seven-seat long-stretched version of the Model Y as well, plus the new Roadster, which they say they are now midway through actually finally making. But when will these new cars come? Well, apparently they're expected. They were expected in the first half of this year. Now it looks like they're being delayed to maybe the third quarter or the fourth quarter of this year. And I, I did mention that I thought that would happen in my recent video, well, my, my, my video from a few months ago. The affordable versions, what details do we know? Well, it looks like they're going to be stripped down cheaper versions of the Model 3 and the Model Y. For example, they'll move the, the screen for the passengers in the back. They'll remove some, some features like that. Tesla says they will utilize aspects of the next generation platform they're working on as well as aspects of our current platforms and will be produced, these new cheaper cars will be produced on the same manufacturing lines as our current vehicle lineup. Tesla announced the production of the CyberCab will begin in 2026. I have seen some giga castings of the CyberCab in um, Tesla drone videos. It does look like they're into really focusing developing the CyberCab. The company also shared the next generation Roadster has moved from the development phase to design development. Um, although it's been seven and a half years since the roadster was revealed and I wouldn't put too much faith in that coming anytime soon. Finally, says carscoops.com, in news that will help shareholders breathe a sigh of relief, Elon Musk is scaling back his work with Doge, the Department of Government Efficiency in the United States. I think he should end his connection with Doge. But anyway, I, I don't know if that will happen. It is possible that the Tesla share price has gone up 5.5% based on these numbers, which are you know, below what people expected. Possible the share price, instead of going down, it goes up because Musk says, yeah, I might be ending my involvement with Doge. That's what it sounds like to me. And that would be a positive probably for Tesla itself. Well, not probably, almost certainly. The clear vision here though for Tesla is not to sell lots of millions and millions of cars and not, not, not to compete in that segment to try and sell 10, 10 million plus cars a year. Tesla are moving away from that because that is a zero sum game into working more on artificial intelligence, on robotics, on self-driving cars. And that is the best decision for the company. Now, these results, the earnings results, they aren't great. That's what I have to say. But I think that the direction of the company, aside from the politics with Musk, if we ignore that, everything else is actually the right direction, in my opinion. And I think the company is moving in the right direction. Hopefully, Musk does end his involvement with Doge. And um, yeah, that would be even better. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And stay positive. Have a great day. Bye-bye.